Greetings in the name of Jesus and blessings to you on this Monday of Holy Week. As we begin our time together, let's pray. Almighty and eternal God, we give you thanks for the joy of this day. We thank you for uniting us together as brothers and sisters in Christ. And we pray that you may prepare our hearts as we journey with you each day this week towards the cross of Calvary and to celebrate your victorious resurrection. Faithful and almighty God, once again we invite you into our churches, we invite you into our homes, into our lives, and into our hearts, this day and always. Amen. Please receive this reading from the Gospel of John. I'd like to read to you from chapter 12, verses 1 through 8. Six days before the Passover, Jesus therefore came to Bethany, where Lazarus was, whom Jesus had raised from the dead. So they gave a dinner for him there. Martha served, and Lazarus was one of those reclining with him at the table. Mary therefore took a pound of expensive ointment made from pure nard and anointed the feet of Jesus and wiped his feet with her hair. The house was filled with the fragrance of the perfume. But Judas Iscariot, one of his disciples who was about to betray him, said, Why was this ointment not sold for three hundred denarii and given to the poor? He said this not because he cared about the poor, but because he was a thief, and having charge of the money bag, he used to help himself to whatever was put into it. Jesus said, Leave her alone, so that she may keep it for the day of my burial. For the poor you always have with you, but you do not always have me. Amen. I love this reading from John's Gospel, and I'm reminded of what J. Vernon McGee says. Jesus began his earthly ministry in John's Gospel at the wedding in Cana, and he prepares to end his earthly ministry here, also in the Christian home, celebrating with friends. Beautiful bookends to his earthly public ministry. The image that Jesus gives here is an image of the church. We have three primary characters in this story. Lazarus, whom Jesus raised miraculously from the dead, giving him new life. We have Martha, who dutifully served dinner. And we have Mary, who of course anointed Jesus' feet with perfume and wiped them with her hair. A metaphor for the church today. Lazarus, representing the new life that we have in Jesus Christ. Martha, representing our call to service and to serve others in Jesus' name. And of course, Mary, who was lifted up in worship and adoration and who beautifully worshiped our Savior. These are three essential characteristics of the church today. And as we celebrate this Lenten season, and as we walk through uh, this Holy Week together, I think we ought to remember and incorporate these characteristics into our churches, into our lives, into our homes, into our hearts, as we celebrate the new life that we have in Jesus, as we serve one another dutifully, like Martha, and as we worship Jesus in pure worship and adoration, like our sister Mary. God bless you, friends, and may this Holy Week be a time of worship, of service, and of remembrance of the new life that we have in Jesus. God bless you, friends, and amen.